Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to see if we can get this thing to fire over. Stay with me. Okay guys, so what I did so far is I put this on the battery charger. I'm pretty sure the battery ain't no good, but uh, you may have to have some juice to get these electronic ignitions, some of them to fire. So anyway, I got some juice on here, and I found out that this fuse is blown. I know you can't see in there, but the fuse is blown. So I just hooked, the, hooked them two wires there together. Now I'm going to check it for spark. I've got my, where to put it? I've got my spark plug tester here. Let's see if I can get you some light down in here. Okay. So what we're going to do, damn it, a little bit of light. Um, sorry guys. Okay, there's the spark plug down there. I'm going to put, this is my spark plug check test, or not spark plug, it's a spark tester but it's not a spark plug tester okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to hook this end up to the spark plug wire right here so let's get you get you some light down here so if that lights up then we've got spark to the plug then the next step will be pull the plug out and check it but let me pull this light away for a second and let's see if we got spark Yes, we do. Well, we did until my wire came off. See that? All right, so it's got spark. So, well, I don't know, guys. Maybe. So maybe. Maybe we should just uh, squirt some gas in there and see if it'll run. Let's make sure the throttle cable, it's not, it's not froze up, but let's make sure the, the slide's working. And it is. I know the choke cable's froze up, but you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and hook that. I'm going to hook, uh, hook the spark plug wire up. Because I think whatever the issue they were having, I don't think it was the plug. I think they, they blew a fuse. So let me let me get that hooked up and we'll score some gas in that in that carburetor and see what happens, alright? Okay guys. I pulled the spark plug out. I got a little bit of fuel in here. It's two strokes, so I got two cycle fuel mixed. I pulled the spark plug out, checked it for uh, spark, and it does have spark. So I squirt some fuel down in here in the carburetor let's see if it'll kick over okay guys I put you up here on my desk let's see what we got going on here oh hell no Woo! All right. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe that one freaking kick. It's a Polaris. It is a two-stroke. <coughs> I did dump a little bit of gas in the in the uh, shit down the spark plug hole too. So I'm gonna put some gas in the tank, and I'm gonna see if it'll run. And if the tires hold air, if the tires hold air, I know I know the brakes are working because it was locked up there. Because I got the brake lock on here. So I'm gonna put some gas in the tank. And uh see if these tires are hold air enough to maybe take it for a ride. But let me get back with you on that. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. That thing 
Uh, it's running, but it's running rough. Uh, it's got a carburetor issue. Um, it's kind of wanting to cut out. I did air the tires up. Um, getting ready to take it for a ride, and it just wants to keep shutting off. It, it won't idle. So, and when you rev it up, sometimes it falls on its face. So, I think it's got a carburetor issue, which is to be expected. So, that's another, that's going to be another time. So, right now it's about quarter after seven. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me in the garage and getting that old thing running. At least we know it runs. So, now we can mess around with it. It's a Polaris, so it is a name brand, so that's cool. So... Now we can go from there. Alright guys, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye. Take care.